Welcome back everyone. Uh, as you can probably see, I collected my uh, souls since the last episode and exacted my revenge by killing that knight who like fucking parried me. Um, I think I'm gonna put on power within because we have no use for the buff anymore. This is ash and dust by the way. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm literally recording this five minutes after I finished the previous episode, so... You know, that's why it wasn't in my mind. I'm gonna stay here, I think, for two reasons. First of all, I, I don't want to do the DLC now. We'll, we'll get back to the DLC later. Second thing... I think, in fact, I said I would do the catacombs first, but I got distracted because of cast light and all that. But first things first, we need to go demon tight knight hunting because without demon tight knight we ain't got shit, you know. That was I was trying to be cool and do a back step, but it did not work. Man, I wish I had fall control or something like that. So anyways, we're gonna gum down here. Gum down here, did I seriously just say that? No rusty iron ring, so we're gonna have to... Do this like men. Although, that is good damage that I'm dealing. In fact, that's very good damage. Shit. Thank you. So that's one. I'm really hoping all these guys are sort of intact. Because uh, there's supposed to be, I think, four of them here. Which should get us... Like, relatively far. What the hell are you doing here? And of course, like everybody has a rusted iron ring, apparently, apart from me. Man, this weapon actually slays. I don't know if they changed the stats around because I like almost specifically remember that the last time I used the Great Sword of Artorias, which was on the uh, Knight's Honor challenge run during stream, you know, when I tried to get the trophy, I specifically remember that I was disappointed by this weapon. Um. It could be that they tweak the stats a bit. Because I think that's like a general consensus. Uh, that the Great Sword of Artorias is sort of underpowered. Which is kind of a shame because... This thing... If there's one thing you can say about this thing... It shouldn't be underpowered. Unless I accidentally... Okay, that's a... That's a hitbox. Yeah, these guys are just stronger ones. That was fucking ridiculous, but trademark, trademark Mr. Sketch had luck coming through. Did I do 420? Hell yeah, I did 420. Yeah, there's no way to only aggro one of these guys. God, the rusted iron ring. Would be nice right about now. Hmm. Four twenty. Kill him with the four twenty. God, I didn't get the four twenty, did I? Yeah, why can't you just give it to my inventory? Thank you. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Luckily, these guys <coughs> do not respawn, so... We don't have to worry about that. Cool. I'll get the last one as well. And try to get it. Even though it's like fucking irritating finding them like this. Still. I think it's worth it. 
Um, we're gonna use one of these. I, think I should be able to get at least two levels. Won't be able to get it up to plus five. Yeah, we need four. So I'll try to get this one here. And then we gotta go farming, don't we? Unless we can trade. We can definitely trade one with Snuggly. I'll just have to... You know what? A plus four is okay for now. I'll, I'll look up the rest. Um... And plus four. Artoria's greatsword. This shit is looking tasty. This is a nicely designed weapon, too. Again, that's why it was such a shame that it was so weak. But now, I don't think it is. In fact, I think this thing slays. Appropriately. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll once I end this, I'll look up the tight night trades, and of course I can't look up where they are located because everything is different. But I think the trades should be the same. Anyways, I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure I have a way to the catacombs unlocked, don't I? That's new Londo. That's, I don't know what, probably Islith. I cannot believe that just happened. I, I literally cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> Why? 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 It's a controller. I know, blame your tools, right? Uh so the issue is, as I've said many a times, this control, the circle button on this controller is a little bit out of whack and sometimes even if you hold it down, it like releases for a fraction of a second, which in this game is jump. And I know you can remap it, but I've just not done it, but maybe I should, maybe I should. How does this work again? I don't remember what this is supposed to do, but I, if I if I remember correctly from the start, it's supposed to like give you how many times you've died. But I've not been checking. Maybe you're supposed to do it every single time you die, and then it's like a counter or something. Yeah, uh, that is gonna go into the Mr. Sketchhead contractual fall death obligation. Quota, you know. It's just how we do it, you know. We gotta keep the business alive. Hmm. I don't remember. And when I when I say I don't remember, I mean I don't remember where. I'm pretty sure I had a way unlocked at catacombs, a shortcut. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm confusing it with New Londo Ruins. Luckily, this area has its own built in shortcut. Which I am gonna use, believe me. Oh no, I know what happened. I did unlock the guy, didn't I? But I didn't have a deformed bronze coin. On oh, is that what? Because I remember where he is. He's the outside of the. I cannot believe. I'm getting cheated here. I am getting cheated. I hopefully I rested. I fucking didn't. Cut. Cut. I think there's a le lesson in there for me. Um, 
always rest at the bonfire, you know. It's been like twice in a row now. I was gonna say, I was thinking, is it three times? But no, it's just twice in a row that I've been fucked over like that. But, you know, that's the... God, I'm gonna sound like an asshole. That's the Souls Veteran Syndrome, right? Yeah, I'm a Souls Veteran. Sometimes you get a little bit overconfident. And it bites you in the ass, sure. This is the world's slowest bone wheel. Why the hell was he that slow? I it, it, it goes to the Underberg. Shit. Well, that's not good. As in good that there's at least a viable Oh fuck, I didn't equip cast light. Shit, this episode is mad like all over the place and there's no bonfire here either which means I'm gonna use the services of the Berg ferryman and hopefully it goes and I know where it goes to now I now I remember it goes to the fucking room with the bonfire yeah which is technically good I wanna be here yeah, this is where it goes to. Uh, all we gotta hope for is... And I think I've checked already. Yeah, I do have... Do have the stats for that. And I hopefully have a catalyst as well. Nice so And it doesn't make me fat roll. Hey, all good. It's probably a way closer bonfire than anything else, too. Yeah, it's just... The thing that threw me off is this connects to the Berg, not to... Uh, Firelink Shrine. Thank fuck for cast light, honestly. Did they just like double the number of these guys? I don't even care. Like with cast light, this is easy. Easy money. Still concentrating. I mean, this is still the initial area of. Fucking Tomb of the Giants. This area is by design dickish. Ooh. And he's dead. <laughs> and I sneezed. That was like a perfect combination of events. Except for the sneeze. You could say that was a well-timed sneeze though. I'm gonna pop one. Oh my, cast light, what a fucking lifesaver. I'm gonna do the patches quest line, because why not? Lasts a long ass time, too. Actually, way longer than I was remembering it to last. You look reasonably slain. I'm being blinded by the giant light orb above your head. I'm gonna be like distracting as fuck. He's like, hey. Yeah. Let's do it. He wants my motherfucking Artorias greatsword. I can tell already. <laughs> 
and he does the nya ha ha laugh. Awesome. The fucking cast light is still going. I'm gonna recast it. All right. Shit. What the hell is that? <laughs> just, she's like going off in her monologue. I'm just like killing enemies. Uh, that was a weird ass fucking NPC. Did you guys see that? He had the Velka guy's mask. Were these guys like bewitched by Pinwheel? Is that the official 420 new lore? I think it is. Yeah. Not much you can do about Great Sword of Artorias. Is that what I think it is? I think that's what I think it is. Oh. And reduces HP. I knew that was gonna come at a cost. Cool. Are you gonna be like okay? It doesn't look like it. She's gonna be fine. Question is where does she go? Because her the place she's normally at is now the Black Knight Soul Cleanser or whatever. Mm, I guess she could still be there. Not that I wanna Oh hello. I knew something sounded like a fucking panting dog here. That's the skeletons make that noise. Yeah, oh yeah, these guys can fuck you up if you're not careful. And sometimes th th this is one of the most unpredictable enemies, I'd say, in the entire game. Like it touches you sometimes and you're going to get just like killed in three seconds and other times it looks like they're hitting you and then just nothing is happening a strange strange enemy not returned to any other game they're like yeah that design didn't stick did it what do you got to say for yourself i see that skeleton peeping he's got the binoculars as well watching us Cool. I'm uninterested in your dialogue now. Um. I'm just thinking. No, I have a divine weapon. I have a divine weapon for Nito. Cool. It's not gonna be an issue to kill the skellies. Gonna have to do some hot switching. With my inventory. God, this thing is kicking ass. This thing is... I'm so happy. Because... This is what Artorius' sword should feel like. I mean, the feeling was good previously as well. Which is the damage was muy underwhelming I don't think so is that seriously its death animation? I don't think I've ever seen like really paid attention to that that's a weird ass death nice 
Nice. Always good to have these on hand. The question is, is there gonna be another ferryman? Uh, I think this is where the... There it is! Another one! Time distort... What the shit? Gears. Time distortion. Disrupts the flow of time. This miracle utilizes the distortion of time within Lord Run, calling upon the memories of those who existed before the beginning. Movement of all beings nearby are temporarily slowed. Holy shit. I think like the from what I've seen and maybe it's just because of what I've been picking up, but the miracles seem super creative. The new miracle oh shit. The new miracles they added are like damn. If I ever do a second playthrough of this. Did you see that? It's like the thing from Adam's family. Oh sh This is the kindest bonfire placement, which means that whatever is up ahead is gonna be an absolute hell of a section, I think. <laughs> That's like signifying. It's like here, have this bonfire bitch, cause you are not gonna have a good time. Uh, oh yeah. Now I figured it out. It's because I had 25 strength, not 26. God, those guys sound fucking annoying. It's like really, literally like panting dogs. I don't know, probably because I had the volume turned down on the video itself, you can't hear it, but... Believe me. I can put my shield back now. I shouldn't be doing this right now. Alright, Leroy. What? Oh, I... I was so scared for a second. What? That was super strange. He, like, took no damage. Every second hit. Because I was just about to say, what if there's a gimmick? And... Oh, no. Oh, well. I think that one just drops a white Titanite chunk. Mm, am I gonna use this? I would use this, but apparently this is an end point. Not a... <laughs> my souls. 30k. I should use it. It's too much to risk. Even though it's gonna respawn all these assholes. Um, 15 faith would be nice to get Toxic Mist. Because with that I can at least get uh, Solaire's questline as well. I'm generally doing okay. Listen, if you were around, which I'm guessing if you're watching episode 16, you were around in the first few parts of this... What the? Oh, that was a skeleton part. You were probably around in the first few episodes. You remember that I was dying a lot and losing hella souls. So, comparatively, I think I've recovered well. In terms of, like, I don't feel... Especially under leveled or anything like that. Which is always a good thing. Yeah, these skeletons have good aim. Hey, listen, they're not the sharpest tool in the shed. Can't exactly blame them. 
Just like some bitch ass skeletons. Did I have 12 Estus? Probably from Leroy. Oh shit, look at how many there are. Yeah, and I saw I got the Mask of the Child, which is probably the most useful one. The stamina recovery. But it just looks so stupid. Impossible to make work with any fashions. This is like anti fashion, you know. These things keep spawning? Or are there like literally this many of them? And another mask. No, just a chunk. <laughs> it's that's one of the goofiest enemies ever um, in Souls. Death's Feast. God, I gotta play a miracle build next time. A miracle build. Once I um, and like on the next playthrough, like seriously, they just look so creative. Um, okay, let me just like practice this. So I have my Divine Morning Star, and we gotta go up. We gotta go up. Alright. And we're gonna power within. Which might be stupid. But we'll see. We'll see. The Daughter of Ash version of Nito had Kieran accompanying him. I don't think that's gonna happen here. But this feels like a boss where it would do a gimmick because this boss is very, very easy. Um, we'll just figure out what it is. Oh shit. My favorite attack. Yeah, this is dealing jack shit damage. Uh, fuck. No! Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Artorius, Artorius, where are you? No! <gasps> he has a toxic aura. Uh oh. This is bad. This is very bad actually. It doesn't deal as much damage. But I think his toxic... Get out, get out, get out. Okay, that deals a lot more damage than it used to. Mm, yeah, that didn't deal that, that much. I got some footage to cut from this episode, so we're gonna go on a little bit longer. I kinda underestimated that attack. So he has a toxic aura. I think power within could still work. I mean, it didn't deal too much damage. Right, peace out, guys. I don't think this run back is much worse than it used to be. I think that's something they paid attention to. And again, as I've said several times throughout this playthrough, GG's to the mod makers because 
they really paid like attention here to what they were doing No, oh shit, my I forgot. This is how confident I am. Just a fraction of a second too late. Good thing. I have this thing. Because I really wouldn't want to... Oh, this is so annoying. Listen, I'm just... Tr need to... I'm just trying to switch my weapon. That's wrong. Wrong Artorias weapon. Wrong Artorius weapon, that's not even an Artorius weapon. God, that's shitty. The toxic aura. Luckily, as I said, it's not Blight Town toxic. He's just he's just stinky. Hey, thanks for that. Do I have power? I don't have power within applied. What the hell was that? Is he going to do it again? That didn't hit somehow. Get the hell out of here. Oh, the big skeleton. That's the gimmick. The skeleton's aggro. Okay. Okay. That works. Is he dead? Yeah, I was thinking. He's gotta be. Hey, uh, so that was still insanely easy. Um... That was I probably got lucky there because I understand what's meant to happen. The gimmick is that he he spawns his little minions, or they aggro at least. But he kept killing them, so well, good for you, Nito. You got me a free win and a couple of levels. In fact, enough to get Toxic Mist. In fact, I am going to get Toxic Mist equipped. Good thing we never have to go there again. I'm not a fan of Tomb of Giants, honestly. That was better though. I like the better mix of enemies. And yeah, fun fight. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of All of Ash and Dust. Still feels weird saying that. Um, as always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the post notifications. Turn on post notifications. See you next time. Goodbye.